Hello everyone. Today we're visiting the island of Burano, which is famous for its lace making. We just came from the island of Murano, which is famous for glass making. Burano is a little north of Murano, about a 30 minute boat ride. If you're coming straight from Venice, then the boat ride is closer to 45 minutes. I would recommend visiting both islands on the same day. First Murano, then Burano. The boat ride was very pleasant, and again the tour guide kept us busy with historical stories, legends, and other tidbits that only a tour guide would know. In no time we arrived at the very small island of Burano. The first thing you see when you come to the island is the leaning tower of the local church of San Martico. The tour guide told us that this tower is actually leaning more than the Tower of Pisa, but it's not as famous. The next thing you notice is the brightly colored houses. The story is that the houses are painted so that the fishermen could find their way back home to the right house at night. We heard the same reason for the colorful houses when we were on the island of Bermuda. They are pretty. One particular house was painted by its owner. He has the lines where the water level rose during floods and some other memorable events painted on the wall. This is where it helps to have a tour guide since they can explain what we are seeing. With a with a sign of the high water that we had, yeah. And then you have uh, the linen, the, the sorry, the linen uh, um, bell tower. Thank you. The ladies are stitching outside of the houses. And if you come here at the back, on the big, the typical Murano. Uh, After looking at the painted houses, we were taken to a lace maker. This island is known for lace making. The lace making done here is done by hand and it is very time consuming, meaning expensive. Some of the lace makers here specialize in a particular stitch, so several lace makers will be involved in making one tablecloth, for example. We were taken to a particular lace making shop where there was a young girl practicing her stitches and someone else was explaining the different types of stitches and how much time it takes to make each item. Jessica now is doing the first stitch in the middle of the leaf. When she finishes, she another another and you can find a small barret. After the barret, there is the net. After the net, the relief. After the relief, the flowers over the relief. So After she was finished explaining about the lace making techniques, we were taken upstairs to a showroom with many different lace pieces for purchase. They showed us many beautiful tablecloths and offered them at a discount. They didn't pressure anyone to buy, only if you were interested. Yeah. For more contemporary style embroider. It's also very easy to take care with the wrinkle free. Sorry, it's very big. Mm -hmm. Wrinkle free and stain resistant. This is for a table for 10 to 12 chairs. And this is a promotional price because we are with the City Wonder Group, only 180 euros, so very big, with the 12 napkins included. And then we had time to walk around the island and enjoy the sights. It's beautiful, picturesque, and very, very touristy. By the way, the glass made on Murano is sold here as well and much cheaper than on the island of Murano. You can also buy glass made in Murano once you get back to Venice, so don't worry if you didn't find just the right piece. There are plenty of shops in Venice and sometimes much cheaper. This was a nice tour of the two islands and we enjoyed it. We took the same boat home with the tour guide. It dropped us off right near St. Mark's Square. Now let's walk around and take in the sights.
nice tour of the two islands and we enjoyed it. We took the same boat home with the tour guide. It dropped us off right near St. Mark's Square. Well that's it for Burano. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did please subscribe and thank you for watching. Bye!